question, questions with Jenna Herzon. And um, of course, the big question that everybody would like answered is Jenna. <laughs> uh, to, um, what are you looking for in new artists? When you are going to sign someone, I'm sure everybody in here would, I mean, it's, it's, it's like the most important information. Uh, I think there's such confusion about what to do sometimes. So, really, mm. my stock answer is I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't know that actually. I mean that in a bad way actually because I don't. I'm not like looking, looking, looking. I'm really not um, because I I find that that it's kind of like the the bee and the flower. You know, it's like we're here and people who resonate with what the label is doing come and say hello, you know, and every once in a while I go out to a club and I go, oh my God, that's amazing, it works for me. So, but what do, what do I like, I think, is, I mean, first of all, I'm just a, I'm just a person. I'm not, not, you know, I run a record label, yes, and I, I'm riddled with fear. I totally relate to like, grab the fear, it's time to, you know, go out. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult business to be in. And I, I'm a musician who started a label, and it, it, it sometimes runs me more than I run it, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I do, I follow my instinct, just like I do when I sing, really. I just, if, if I'm relating to somebody, but what is it that I love? I love honesty. And I love uh, passion. I love true passion. Where people, and people who are working, who, who get the idea of what, what I'm able to sign, like, I'm not, I don't work in a vacuum, actually. We have a team, and I, I need to sign things that I feel that the team, A, has the skill to be able to do something about, B, is going to have some passion behind, because I need them to have passion as well. So I might really, and this has happened this last couple of years, the company's been growing, I might really love something, but I'm not getting a consensus, and I go, I don't think I better sign this, because I'm not going to personally get in the trenches and do all that work, so I better not sign this this one, even though I love it, you know, and and... and so there's what, I, I, I have hugely in, inclusive musical tastes. I mean, I, I just love anything that's, I love world music. I mean, I love punk music even if I'm gonna go out not to listen to, but I like to go out to it, you know? So I just like when people are, are real, you know? And I think that the, the ego is the enemy of great music and uh, we all have one and we all are, you know, I think it's very important to become aware of what, you know, what our true, anybody who has a desire to do something, I think is meant to do it. So like, like you know, should you quit your day job, should you not? That's not the, the question. The question is, are you burning to sing this something? <laughs> well, find a place to sing it. One of my favorite quotes, I'm always repeating this to people, was Jack Nicholson, because I used to be in the, in the theater before I was in music, and that's another thing I look for is theatrical, whether it's instrumental or whether it's, I like things that have dynamic and, and, and you know, are courageous and, 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 and epic, you know, things like that. The, um, but Jack Nicholson one time was asked about auditioning, and he said, any chance to act. Any <laughs> chance, that's it. <laughs> he said, I just, just, give me a, just give me a stage, I like to do this, you know. And when people have that much desire, and it's not, and they're not, because that's what you need to get over. When I first made, I, I'm, I'm a person who had a, a lot of, Stage fright. I now say that I don't have stage fright anymore because I have record label fright, which is much bigger. <laughs> much bigger. <laughs> you know, because you're dealing with people's lives and you're dealing with, you know, I try to make the best decision, but I, I'm, I can't always know what's going to work and I can't promise anything's going to work and I'm risking my own money too sometimes and so it's the whole thing. But the, I just, you know, I have to go by, well, what am I really burning to do? And it's the same, what, what pro when I sign something, it's like, well, this, I can fight, I can go to bat for this. So I don't know if that answers, if any, I don't know if it really answers the question, but I hope for yourselves that you're picking the material. I did want to know, how many writers are there in the room? And don't feel bad if you're not one. Well, there's quite a number of writers in here. Because if you ask me where jazz, the future of jazz is going, I think is that, that the singer, song, I should have asked songwriter, yes. men, I think that, that people are bringing themselves to, that, to the song. That I, I mean, I also, don't feel bad because interpretation is an amazing art form, and you're you're just writing with your spirit inside of there. I was just like a, a, a song is like a, a coat. It's like there's nothing until you put it on, but it's whoever's inside of it, how it hangs on them, and how you carry it. You know how you carry it that it, it gets over, and um, you know the 
the reason I was asking, I, I do also, I'm interested in people who have a voice and because, and who are going to help inspire people. I feel like that is what is the most needed in the world right now is it's love, as Madame said earlier, <laughs> you know, and, and inspiration, you know, to be able to go somewhere and get, feel inspired to be your best person when you leave, you know, that's, yeah. that's what I like to, yeah. to sign the people who are doing that. It takes courage, they're taking risks, and, uh, mm -hmm. can, and they're not worrying about whether I'm liking them. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay.